All right, got this evaporator coil in a curbside cooler, and look at it, it's all froze up over here. That's pretty bad, all on one side. Here we got the computer, and got it set for four days right there, so we can see a big portion of it. So you can see. Anything above that red line is alarm. So it's an alarm a lot of the time. It shouldn't be like that. So we go back, look everywhere we can or as far as we can until we see something more like that. And that's normal. That's where it should be. So this irregular pattern, I and in alarm, has been happening since uh august 30th on august 30th it something happened and that's probably when it started to freeze up and so here we are so way up here on the roof i'm gonna shut the power off now i need my door to stay open because i gotta run my hose through there so i'm gonna rig this up to where the magnet on the door sensor is where it needs to be while I work on it to keep this from going off. But look, they're very sensitive. You see how they can't be right next to each other. And then they can't be too far from each other. They gotta be like, just like that. Cool, now I can leave my door open and it will not alarm. So working on it here, I got the fan covers off and I knocked off a lot of the ice from the bottom right here. It's all down there. I had to sweep it up. So I pulled off these fans and I took the hose and I got all the ice off the back side. A lot of the ice from over here came off. And so I just put the fans back on. I'm gonna let those run for a little bit. And see, this one's actually coming along real good. But like the ice is, it's, man, it's about ready to come off. So I'm gonna let it run like this for a little while. And it's gonna be really, it's gonna come right off. And then I'm gonna have to clean all this floor up because it's wet, there's no drain anywhere. So now uh, I've turned it back on. It looks to me like it's like glass is clear, so we don't probably have a refrigeration problem. So that's weird. Why is it freezing up on just one side? So I powered it on and it ran for like a minute or two and then it shut off. Put my gauge on it and it's, uh, it's pumped down, so the valve or the solenoid has closed. Well, with that being said, guys, I don't really have very much more footage on this. Um, and so what ended up happening was uh, this expansion valve was bad, and that was really the only thing I could conclude was going to be causing this very strange issue with it freezing up on one side. So um, what I ended up doing was I went and got the expansion valve, which was like 91 miles away, but they didn't have the right one. So I drove all the way back, and when I got back, I decided that I wasn't going to install that one. So then I had to come all the way back home that night. So this is the valve that they gave me and, and it just it just wasn't right. I could tell because well mine was three eighths and then the one that they gave me was five eighths. So you can see here the tag on the bottom is the tag off of the valve that needed to be replaced. And the 
tag above that one that has the 30 in it. That's the valve that they gave me. So it clearly wasn't a match. So I decided to not install it. And then uh, luckily the next day I was able to find the valve. Went back out there. The change out went just fine. And, uh, and that is all she wrote for that call. So sorry it ended so quickly just like that on this one. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.